Okay. I'm driving. I just this this message is for myself. I'm recording to listen to it later and type it. I had a strong feeling as I was driving to pray that the Lord only would send me to those whom He wants me. Uh, how can I say it? For the Lord to send me to those whom they are called to interact with me, they are called to hear my voice, see my face, watch my videos, talk to me, and of course my life is God, and or for any other reason the Lord wants, but just to for me to be sent only to those who I am. How can I say who God wants me to uh, be sent to? You know, uh, sometimes someone like Nelson Mandela, he was called, his voice was called to be heard by the whole country and later on by the world. Someone like Mother Teresa's words and deeds and actions and calling was to certain group of people, but at the same time, it was supposed to be heard by almost the whole world. See, there are certain people, there are group of people, individual, that the Lord wants us to minister. Also, there are groups of people, it could be one person or, I don't know, five billion, like in the case of, uh, what is it, the American evangelist, which I completely forgot his name, Billy Graham. His voice was heard by, I would say, billions of people. But in my case, it doesn't matter the number. But I had a strong feeling to pray that the Lord would help me to not just throw my virtue in front of people that I'm not called to. Because those specific group of people or individual, they're called to some other people. But the virtue that God gave it to me, if it comes out of my face, if it's the work of my hand, if it's the hospitality, if, if it's the words that I'm sharing, it's the video I'm recording, or if it's my writing, it should hit the target. And not so many different targets. Those other targets are for other people. I have certain targets uh, that I'm called to hit, which would be the heart of people. That's to me, or the mind of people, or the spirit of the people, or the souls of people, or maybe the body of people. There are certain number. See, I have certain hours on this earth, certain days, or maybe years, or I would say second and hours that should be spent to only hit the mark. And I had a strong feeling to also pray that the Lord would somehow make my words and deeds and actions and the video I'm making, the, my writings and or the voice recording, anything about me, even my presence, almost like make the people that they are not called to receive it, almost to make them uncomfortable. Then they would not come around to get what I have because they're not called to receive from me. I'm not called to give to them. They're called to receive from other people and other people are called to give to those people. This sounds a little bit complicated, but for me, it's really simple. And it was, it was not about my understanding. It was about a little bit of knowing the plans of God and also praying. I, I can, these are way above my pay grade, if I may say. That's why the Lord shows me. It's like, a, you know, you go to an architect and they put all this big, humongous blueprint in front of you. And they kind of like teach you the language of the blueprint and you understand a little bit of the blueprint 
And you know, you say they would say, okay, you're called to understand a little bit or to know this part of the blueprint and to build this part of it also. Then you say, okay, I'm called to do that, and then you do it. Same thing with me, you know. It's just like like knowing what part of the blueprint I need to look at, and then the, and then what part of the blueprint the Lord wants me to build, and that is. my life then I don't need to have a lot of followers I don't need to have a lot of the student I don't need to have a lot of disciples I don't need to have a lot of ears and I don't need to have a lot of hearts only the hearts and the ears and the disciples and the followers the follower I mean that making the disciple of Jesus Christ and the readers and the watchers of my stuff and And the people that they're called to me and I'm called to them. That's all. In his beautiful name. Amen.